Hi all, uh, I'm Shanawas uh, Sheikh, Product Marketing Manager in Automotive Information Systems Group of uh, Microchip. So AS offers uh, various technologies for in-vehicle networks, varying from 10 Mbps to 12.5 Gbps range. So here today, uh, I'll try to uh, give you a brief overview of iNicNet technology, which is meant to realize 50 megabits or 150 megabits networks in the cars. So iNicNet technology it has got key benefits, low latency and bandwidth efficiency, and it can support uh, native Ethernet packets, and it's going to be an open standard in the coming year, 2021. So with emerging uh, trends in automotive domain, especially the electrification and then uh, autonomous driving, the acoustic applications and the voice applications are merging and there are emerging applications such as emergency response application and then sound synthesis applications which are coming into the car and this means there's increasing number of microphones, speakers and other sensors such as accelerometers and all. And these need uh, digital networks which are very rich, feature rich and which can offer low latency and bandwidth efficiency. So iNicNet technology is best suited for these applications and here I have a demo uh, explaining the road noise cancellation use case. So here you can see how the road noise cancellation use case is realized in the cars. You can see these are the accelerometers. These accelerometers sit on the axle of the car and they try to pick up the noise coming from the road surface. And this particular noise is sent to a noise cancellation ECU. And in fact, the same network can be extended to have microphones which can ca uh, capture the, any particular vibrations coming in the cabin of the car and all these vibrations and noises are sent to this ECU and this ECU will uh, uh, model this noise and it will generate an anti-noise and this anti-noise goes to the speakers of your car. So here we have shown only a couple of microphones and a couple of accelerometers and a one speaker but you can have uh, depending upon the level of uh, premium feature you want to offer in the car you can increase this network of microphones, accelerometers and amplifier. Okay, so here you see a demo of this road noise cancellation use case. So basically, uh, it's only the half of the one where we try to show you like how iNicNet technology with its low latency can capture the noises coming in from these accelerometers. This is a dummy car. You can see the four wheels and we have put the accelerometers. These are all on the axle of the car, but here we have put it on the tire so that you guys can see it properly. So these are three axis accelerometers, each one mounted on uh, each wheel of the car and you can see respectively the four wheels. This is the output coming in from this noise cancellation ECU. So what I try to do is, I try to increase the frequency of the noise. So you, here you can see, I'm trying to increase the frequency and then you can see we are, we are generating an artificial noise with the shakers below the wheels and how they are vibrating. So the suspension is good in the front axis, that's why you see they are vibrating and here it's not so good so you don't feel much of the noise but whatever the noise is coming in it's captured in these uh, at the central ECU. So this is the frequency I'm increasing. Typically you can see like uh, at higher frequencies you don't see so many harmonics, not that much of noise but at lower frequencies you can see a lot of vibrations. And since this is a three axis accelerometer, you can see all the three axes, the noise coming in all the three axes. And I will try to increase the amplitude as well. So you can see how iNicNet enables you with such a low latency from the source of the noise, it's going into the centralized ECU, which can do anti-noise cancellation. So this is the key feature of iNicNet. And I would like to uh, again uh, emphasize the key features, the low latency, the bandwidth efficiency, and moreover, it assures a quality of service as well with determinism in the network. And once you have this noise modeled at this ECU, you can generate an anti-noise which can go on to your further network of speakers where you can hear an anti-noise. So in this noise cancellation use case, it should be so quick that before the noise reaches human ear, an anti-noise should reach and cancel it out. So that's why latency is key and iNicNet will enable such low latency.
thanks for watching this video and there are many other interesting videos of iNicNet technology and other use cases as well. So you can visit our website uh, microchip.com slash iNicNet or in case you want to get in touch with us, do drop us an email at iNicNet at microchip.com. Thanks again.